Well, I started in tax in 1981, so that's a long time. I, I think the biggest change over those many years is transfer pricing. Back in the 1980s, the, the major accounting firms, the big eight in those days, had no specialist transfer pricing resources in any country other than the US. There just wasn't a market. That all changed dramatically in the 1990s when a number of tax authorities other than the IRS started transfer pricing audits. And the OECD released its transfer pricing guidelines in 1995. And today, there are thousands of transfer pricing specialists throughout the world. Another major change in the world of international tax was the release of the check the box regulations in the US in the mid 1990s. Now, although entity classification rules existed in the US before this, the check the box rules just made it so easy for US multinationals to choose the US tax classification of domestic and foreign entities. This opened up an enormous treasure chest of international tax planning by US groups. Now, a third major change concerns the rise of EU tax law. I remember discussing this issue with a UK tax partner in the early 1990s. I asked him, do you think that the UK corporation tax law will ever be impacted by EU rules? He said, no, the UK will never accept that level of intrusion. Well, he was proved wrong. The EU's freedoms, particularly the freedom of establishment and the free movement of capital, the EU's directives, particularly the Parent Subsidiary Directive and the Interest and Royalties Directive, and the EU rules on state aid have had a profound effect on the corporate income tax law in EU member states. A fourth change concerns business models, which is not really a tax law change, but is arguably a response to tax law. We, we saw the emergence of supply chain planning, with the use of a principal company which has the major profit drivers located in an advantageous tax location and the remaining group companies acting in a support role for the principal. These structures became very popular initially in Europe but then in the rest of the world. And in part a response to such business models, we saw the BEPS project, an unprecedented collaboration between OECD members and other countries to remake the world's international tax rules. And then at the end of 2017, the US corporate tax reform was enacted with major changes for multinationals, both inbound and outbound the US. A dramatic drop in the federal corporate income tax rate, guilty, fiddy, beat, deemed repatriation, exemption for foreign dividends. And now we're witnessing BEPS 2.0, as some folks call it, digital taxation, which includes a major reassessment of the division of taxing rights between residents and source countries. A very busy 38 years. <laughs>